And when I heard the voice of his words, then was I in deep sleep on my face, uh -huh. and my face toward the ground. So now we are dealing with an angel here. That's who Daniel is looking at, isn't it? And he's leaving looking at the angel Gabriel. I got other scripture to show you that. But now it's the angel that he's dealing with here. Go ahead and read on. And behold, a hand touched me, which set me upon the, my knees uh -huh. and upon the palms of my hands. Go ahead and read. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, uh -huh. understand the words that I speak unto thee. Go ahead. And stand upright, for unto thee I am now sent. And when he had spoken this word unto me, I stood trembling. So now the angel told Daniel, he said, you know, understand these words, because I have been sent unto you. And Daniel said when the angel spoke unto him, he stood there trembling, scared him to death. You know, this, and, 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 the, and the being just standing there talking to him, but yet it scared him to death. Go ahead and read on. Thus, then said he unto me, uh -huh. Fear not, Daniel. Go ahead. For from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand mm -hmm. and to chasten thyself before thy God, Go ahead. thy words were heard, uh -huh. and I am come for, for thy words. See what the Lord, uh, what, uh, see said, what the angel told me, he said, now the, from the first day, that you set yourself to hear the words and to chasten yourself, your words was heard, and now I have come for your word. This is the angel that is talking to Daniel, but now notice what was said here. Go ahead and read on. He said, but the prince of the kingdom of Persia. Wait a minute, he said, but he, now the angel telling Daniel, he said, I have now come for your word, but the prince, the ruler of the kingdom of Persia. Go ahead and read on. Withstood me one and twenty days. He withstood me one and twenty days. Now we know this wasn't no regular mortal man that said withstood an angel for twenty-one days. Look here, I can read you in the Bible where one angel killed a hundred and eighty-five thousand people. And on another occasion he killed seventy thousand, and the only reason he stopped was because the Lord said, Stop. You understand what I'm saying? So now you're gonna tell me some mortal man. Then held up an angel for 21 days. That's what he said. He, that, that's what the angel Gabriel said. He said, look, I have come for your words, but the prince of the kingdom of Persia, he withstood me 21 days. Go ahead and read on. But lo, Michael. But lo, Michael. Now you got to bring Michael into the thing. You understand what I'm saying? Because Gabriel is the messenger. Michael is the warrior. You understand? Who was it that threw Satan out in the first place? Michael, wasn't it? So now, Michael, go down there. And, and, and take care of Satan again so that the angel Gabriel can go on through and give Daniel the message that I want him to get. Go ahead and read on. He said, but lo, Michael, uh -huh. one of the chief princes, come, he said, came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. See what I said, but Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I remained there with him. So again, who is this king of Persia here? This king of Persia ain't nobody but Satan. You know, and I'm going to show you sometimes, the Lord be talking to a literal king, and then sometimes he's talking to the one that is behind the king, the real king. Let's go, because we're ready to press the kingdoms of this world, right? right. Let's go to, uh, let's go now to, uh, 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 let's go first to uh, Genesis chapter 3, and we're going to pick it up at verse 1. Genesis chapter 3, and we're going to pick it up at verse 1. 3 and verse 1. 3 and 1. 3 and 1. Take it back here and pick up this old serpent that was in the garden, which was none other than Satan. That is the angel. That's all he is. This was not a snake that was standing there talking to Adam and Eve. It was an angel. That's who it was. Let's start reading here at uh, Genesis chapter 3 and begin reading at verse 1. Genesis 3, and we're going to pick it up at verse 1. 3 and 1, okay? Go ahead and read, brother. Now the serpent was more subtle. Than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. You know, subtile means he was crafty. He was more subtile than any beast of the field that the Lord God had made. Go ahead and read on. And he said unto the woman, Yea, have God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Uh -huh. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, Ye shall not eat of it. Now, 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 what do we have here? I just, I just want to count uh, 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 the, 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 the amount of individuals that we have here in the God. We got Adam. We got Eve. We got the serpent. And we have God. That's all that we have here. It's four here, don't we? 
I don't see nothing about no king of tiles or none of that, right? All we have here in the God is four entities. Go ahead, read on. Neither shall ye touch it, uh -huh. lest ye die. Go ahead. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. In other words, he done lied. Go ahead, read on. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Well, he told the truth about that, but that's how he operate, though. You know, he give you some truth, and then he give you some lies as well. You know, he give you some truth enough to get your confidence in him, then he give you a, a, a big enough lie to get you cut off. Because his whole intent from the very start have been to cut off the creation. You understand? His intent is to destroy the entire creation. That means everybody. Now, let's go to, so now we got four here. That's how many we have here, don't we? And that is all that we have in the God. And Adam said that he was the mother of all living, so that means that there was nobody else somewhere else that wasn't sitting there with him. You understand what I'm saying? That is all that you had was four, right? Now let's go to, uh, now let's go to uh, 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 Ezekiel chapter 28, now that we have established that. So now when we read this, we can better understand what it is that we are reading. Because sometimes you have to understand one thing before you can understand another thing. Let's start reading here at Ezekiel chapter 28. And we'll begin reading at verse 1. Ezekiel 28, and we'll begin reading at verse 1. 28 and 1. 28 and 1. Okay, go ahead and read. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Go ahead. Son of man, uh -huh. say unto the prince of Tyrus. Now he says, say unto the prince of Tyrus. We're going to find out this ain't the prince of Tyrus, the prince of Tyrus. This is the real Prince of Tyrus. Go ahead, read on. Thus saith the Lord God, uh -huh. because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am a God. I but sit because thy heart is lifted up, and thou hast said that I am a God. Who was it that said that they was a God? Or they was going to exalt themselves above? Wasn't that Lucifer the light bearer? Yep. And that's when the Lord uh, made him Satan, the adversary. Now he said, you know, because you have said I am a God, and, I, and, and thy heart has been lifted up, and I'm going to exalt myself Above God, go ahead and read on. I sit in the seat of God. Go ahead. In the midst of the sea. Go ahead. Yet thou art man and not God. Go ahead. Though thou, set, though thou set thine heart as the heart of God. Read on. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. Uh huh. He said, There is no secret that they can hide from thee. Now, this is, this is not the literal king of Tyrus here, because he said, You wiser than Daniel, and there is no secret that you can. I don't know no mortal being. That there is no secret that you cannot hide from. You understand what I'm saying? So this, this, this is not the king of Tyre, flesh and blood king of Tyre, but he's dealing with the one that is behind the king of Tyre, that is the real king of Tyre, that he's the prince of all of the kingdoms of the world. Let's skip down now to uh, verse uh, 12. Go ahead and continue to read. Verse 12, read. Son of man, mm -hmm. take up a lamentation upon the king of Tyrus. Now he said, take up the lamentations against the king of Tyrus. Go ahead and read on. And say unto him, uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord God, Thou sellest up the sum, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. Go ahead. Thou hast been in, thou hast been in the Eden, the garden of God. Well, only somebody that was in Eden, the garden of God, is God, Adam, Eve, and that old serpent that we know, know as, uh, as the devil, the angel. That's, that's all that was in Eden, the garden of God, right? Because after the Lord, after Adam and them sinned, he kicked them out. And then he said to Cherub that they couldn't, you know, couldn't nobody else get in. You understand what I'm saying? So now he said, you have been in eating the God of God. Go ahead and read on. Every precious stone was I covering. Go ahead. The sardis, topaz, and the diamond. Uh -huh. The beryl and the onyx and the jasper. The sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle. Uh -huh. And gold, the workmanship of thy tigris. Go ahead. And of thy pipes were prepared in thee. In the day that thou was created. Go ahead and read. Thou art the anointed cherub. See what it says? You are the anointed cherub that covered. You know what a cherub is? A cherub is an angel. Even an archangel. You understand what I'm telling you? So now he said you have been in Eden, the garden of God. And you are that anointed cherub that covered. Go ahead and read on. And he said, and I have set thee so. Go ahead. Thou was upon the holy mountain of God. Uh -huh. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I bet you the king of Tyrus ain't walked up and down in the midst of no stones or no fire. You understand what I'm telling you? You are not dealing with a mortal being here. You are dealing with a spiritual being here. 
You're like that angel was that the Lord sent to Samson's mother. 